Hello everybody and welcome back to Shadow Tower. Last time we found ourselves in another cavern. The bowels of the earth as the obelisk or the fire tower told us. We were able to bring our fuel that we got above and we completely changed the world around us to this ghastly sickly blue. We did a lot last time, and this time I think we're going to hit up that door we saw towards the end of the last episode. So, let's get started. Lots of acid pods, lots of barrel cannon snails. It's definitely the Earth region, all right. We also chewed through a whole heck of a lot of Anti-paralytics. Oh, you know what? We did get a whole heap of a lot of soul pots. So let's use them and prepare for what lays ahead. I didn't like to do these by a save point. I don't do them... Well, rather, I don't like doing them... When I don't have a save point right next to me. I did a lot of testing for Shadow Tower Abyss. Just standing by a save point and arranging my, my soul pots that way. We only have one. That's great. Okay, so where are we right now? We are currently at 131 strength, which is actually our vitality. 81 speed and 115 defense. 142 balance, 104 slash. So we're gonna throw five points into defense. Five points into strength. And then we'll throw a few points into speed because that is lagging behind. But let's do this again because we got three soul pots. Pretty happy there. We are almost at 3,000. Take a look at our equipment. Let's actually use our movement to increase our speed. We did get another amulet, so let's take a look. Hmm. I'm going to keep that. So, 
And that, my friends, is what you actually have to watch out for. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's amazing I did not do that while I was fighting. Welcome back to the False Pit Cavern. Oh no, are you serious? I mean, I'll take the I'll take the high potion, but pain in the rear. I'll have to fight them again. All right, once more with feeling. Also, if you're playing, don't do what I did and lose like half of your loot to the abyss. Try to manipulate the AI over the path. Stop it. So the path is supposed to be wet, maybe, and slippery. So the game is actively trying to throw you off. I wonder if you can drop down there. And uh, find something else. Let's not make our dreams or dreams be dreams. Let's see what's here. This place is probably the scariest place so far. Not because of the, not because of the monsters. Platforming is uh not my strongest suit. Oh, what's this? Let's see where we are at. If it's not what we wanted, then we can always reload, but well, that's fun. You can almost make a music out of them. Hello, friends. If I can kill one at range, killing the other in melee is probably not bad.
How am I missing? How am I missing? Come on, game. I bet these are anti-paralytics. Use items. Yep, that's what those are. Have to check something. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. Oh boy, oh boy. Everything's intense in here.
like everything. Right, let's let's take a look around. I believe that's my ring, so I'm probably just gonna use some ashes. I used one of my anti-paralytics by accident because I put it on a... Nothing in there. I put it on a shortcut. So... There should only be two. I will say that noise is really freaking me out. <laughs> okay, that looks scary. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh, so, what's going on here is, I was right, this is a boss room. So, if you remember Abyss, in Red Sand area, the king who is in our center of the screen right now looks very much like that. He's the one using paralysis on us. So, we're just gonna keep it in this. And then hope for the best. We basically have five chances. Oh. 
Apollos, one of the seven knights of the great King Edward. We came in search of the crown, but they betrayed me and left me for dead. I was turned to the darkness and captured by the will of King Edward, but now at last I am freed from my torment. So Apollos isn't supposed to bum rush you there, but So Apollos isn't really supposed to bum rush you there. He is supposed to come after the two Earth Knights. And then he's supposed to attack you. I don't have a two-handed sword, so that's why it took so long. And I went into Kingsfield mode with throwing magic at him to stun him and hitting him. Apparently his arm is... Deeply corroding, so it is corroding my sword. There is a feather point here. Soul pot. His throne. Now, again, the US localization tries to make things a bit more streamlined by making it one king instead of like four or five this isn't actually the case apollos is a king he is not a knight and this is his throne we are heavily rewarded with some brand new items And a book, I guess. Let's first take a look at the creature book, and then we'll take a look at what items we got afterwards. Actually, I'm really liking Apollos' design. So we've already read Earth Knight... But we have not read Black Onyx. Torso of demon embedded in sparkling onyx. Attacks with large wings and fires a dark ray. Resistant to magic. So if you are starting to rely on your magic, you're going to have to attack it. I was wondering why it took so much damage from a a sword hit. And this is the Dread Knight Apollos, a high demon with a scream. His most dangerous attack really isn't his arm or his sword, it is his paralyze. Ruler, and again, a lot of demons in the Shadow Tower paralyze by laughing at you. And this says, 
ruler of Earthworld, attacks swiftly with his arm, his sword, an extendable arm, also paralyzes prey with his voice. I wonder if that is kind of in reference to some Judeo-Christian or even earlier, like, religious stuff. If you, you can't listen to the words of God, it has to be filtered through Metatron. Because if you hear the voice of God, you'll, you'll probably go insane. 2400 HP. He is, or was, our first real boss of the game. So we have plate mail of curing, which we might switch to. It's a big investment of weight, though. Caustic handguard. The Tower Shield of Honor at 047. Lots and lots of defense. We got an ev evil eye, which stops enemy movement, which could have been really useful for Apollos if the Earth Knights were did what they were supposed to do and attacked me first. And Spirit Book, which is a consumable for temporarily freeing magic. Okay, let's go. The only thing we can do is use this here warp stone. So let's take let's take it and see where it leads us. Oh, okay. Interesting. I see. And now, the world is not a ghastly shade of blue. And now we can see way further than we were able to before. I guess the miasma of Apollos being no longer here has freed this area. Dang it. Oh, I see now. Okay. Um... But I want to see what that other door was. Because we kind of stumbled into the boss fight. And I thought it was through the other door. So let's take a quick run. Oh 
hopefully not like fall. Okay, so let's take a look at what this door is. Okay, cool. I wonder if this is the same door. Okay, so that's the boss room. This is definitely the same door. Interesting that there's stuff there now. I wonder if the other ones do or if I am missing out because I opened them too early. Okay, so this is Apollo's. So I'm fairly sure that's what we got for Hostel Rock. Um, let me see something. Yeah, 91%. See where this leads.
very clever sort of twisting and turning. Let's head back and then use that other warp point that we found and see where that takes us. Wow, all the way back up in the Forgotten region. Let's head to the smithy because we're here. Wow. Is it because we defeated the boss that we can see everything now? Just wow. Okay. Wow, 4,200 HP to restore that.
now we'll start healing some of the things we can heal. Because we can't heal that, um, but we kind of want the bastard sword. And I think that's going to be that there. I keep putting off the boots. But, uh... I'm not sure if they're worth it anymore. Considering we have caustic steel boots. Which is 34.29.47. Better strength and defense, but the caustics also gives you a little bit more magic stuff. For less weight. Let me know in the comments if uh, I'm missing something and I should uh, get around to fixing those boots. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to get back to... where we were which is a tough a tough sell because i'm running it in my head i'm like which way do i need to go okay so i think i have to go through poison cavern which is through the other door which gives us a point to save Pretty important to prepare because since we did defeat the boss I'm fairly certain that we'll have a fresh hell waiting for us through another door but now we can see everything so we're not like kind of guessing let's save And in so doing, we can see the Earth region in a way we have not seen before. It was just so much darker. It wasn't dark enough for me to use, like, torches or, like, lamps or anything like that. But it is kind of amazing what happens when you kill a boss. Uh, like, a high demon that was holding this region hostage. I wonder if that's because of the demon or because of the fire tower that we lit up, the obelisk.
Maybe I should have used those lamps. Hmm. Okay, we're here. Now the safety save can be overwritten. We can take a peek into what is next. Apparently, according to the internet, the, um, the map for the Earth region looks like a turtle. Which is kind of funny considering Elden Ring. And I'm not sure if that was intentional. But something to uh, keep in mind. And there is one door that we have not gone through because it is a Shadow Tower door and not part of the Earth region. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's take a look at what is behind uh, this door. I was going to say door number one, but this isn't door number one. I wonder if you can just go and jump down, but... Very interesting symbol on this here door. Looks like a crown and three eyes. It's also red. Welcome to the fire world. Another from software staple. Lava. Don't touch the forbidden jelly. Burning. The flame is burning me. I wonder if this is going to have any any similarities to red red sand in abyss. Or rather the opposite way, whether this has any similarity to red sand area. Let's see what we got as far as equipment is concerned.
fiery large shield. Um, so there's that, which means we have to, lose a little bit of weight here and there. Well, okay. I am I am going 99% of my weight right now. Okay, so we're going to be lowering bridges as we go along. Looks like it's over there. I'm sorry to my friends who are red green color blind. Looks like we meet our first our first friend here. To use Aegon's of a store Aegon of Astora's wordplay. Okay. Um, let's see what that creature is. A fire gin. With legs shrouded in flames, the spirit can stab out quickly with his eldritch sword. He also shoots fireballs. He also owes me 20 bucks, but I'm not going to throw that in the creature book. Whoop! That's a fireball. Dropping us a sword. How thoughtful of them. Oh, would you please, please, please. Rude. At least they're dropping some good health potions. Oh wow, that was that was a big guy over there.
Okay. Wait, was that writing? No, that's not writing. I wonder what those are. Let's see. I think they're probably items. Fireworld stone reduces fire damage. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Probably should have used it against the armored version of those jins. They are highly aggressive. We're going to try this this item out now. There's a couple places where I thought he was down for the count, but he was not at all. Wait. 
Did I do this wrong? Unlike some people, I do find it fine to fight in the phone booths, but that's a bit too much of a phone booth for me. We just got the fiery full helm. And fiery gauntlets, which I do want to keep. Do that. Looking for some hidden doors because I do hear some some more individuals. This was only really supposed to be a peek inside, and it's turned into quite a little jaunt, quite a little adventure. We are starting to improve, so that's good. And we get ourselves an amulet, so we're going to quickly check. We got the amulet of Guardian, which we'll put on. And we'll see what's behind this here door.
take a listen. Okay. All right. So that's going to do it for me. This was a bit of a, a longer stretch, but we are finally out of the earth world. But as they say, out of the frying pan and into the fire. So let's give it a save. and say thank you guys very much for joining me today and i will see you next time in shadow tower bye everybody <laughs>